What I have here is a center widget, which is having a child of container, and the container is having a red color and a text that says welcome. It is not much of an elegant look when you see that the text here is touching the borders of the container. So in such cases, when you need to add some space between the boundaries of the parent and its children, you need to use the padding widget. To use the padding widget, what you need to do is you need to wrap the child with a padding. And the value of this padding property needs to be an edge insets. And you can create the instance of edge insets in multiple ways. Let's discuss the most useful ones. The most basic way is by using the edge insets dot all. And by using this constructor, you can give a padding value that is similar for all the sides of the container. So in this case, I'll just give it a value of 15. And if I save the app, you can now see that the container is having a padding of 15 from its child's from all the four sides that is top, right, bottom and left. This is the most common way of giving padding. But you can also give padding in more selective ways. So if you need to give different padding for horizontal values that is left and right and different padding for vertical values that is top and bottom, you can use edge insets dot symmetric. So let us say we need a padding from only the left and right hand side. So in that case, we can give only the horizontal value to the edge insets dot symmetric. And in this case, I'll just pass the value of 10 and put a comma here and save the app. And you can see that there is only a padding of 10 from the left and right hand side. So let me just increase the value of padding here so it's much more visible and save the app. You can now see that the padding of 20 is being applied from the left and right hand side only. And if I want to apply the padding from top and bottom also, so I can simply add a vertical property to the edge insets.symmetric and give it a value of 50 and save the app. You can now see that we have a different value for the horizontal padding that is from left and right hand side and a different value for the vertical padding that is from top and bottom. And if you need even more control over individual sides, then you can simply use edge insets.only. So by using this constructor, what you can do is you can pass a different value for right, left, bottom and top. So in this case, if I only give a padding value to the right and give it a value of 20 and save the app, you can see that there is only a padding of 20 from the right hand side. And if I want to add a padding to top also, so I'll just give it a property of top and give it a padding of 50 and save the app. And there is a padding from top also that is of value 50. Other than these, there is another way of giving edge sets. It is a bit advanced because this is mostly used in case of animation. We can use edge insets .lerp. So let me just remove this from here and pass it edge insets .lerp. And the lerp here stands for linear interpolation. To use this, what we need to do is we can give two values for the edge insets. You can consider them as limits. For the first argument, I'll pass in the edge insets .all and give it a value of 10. And for the B, I'll pass in the edge insets and give it a value of 20. And the last argument that the lerp requires is like a control handle. And what you need to do is you need to pass a double value here, which can be between 0.0, .0 and 1.0. What you can do is you can pass in a value of 0.0. .0 and if I add a comma here and save the app, you can see that we're applying the padding of 10. And if I pass in the value of 1.0 and save the app, the padding that is being applied now is the padding of 20. So basically, if I pass in the value of 0.0, .0 the first padding will be considered. And if I pass in the value of 1.0, then the second padding will be considered. And if I pass in the value of 0.5, the padding of 15 will be applied. And 0.5 represents the value that is 15 between the 10 and 20. This kind of interpolation is mostly used with animation where you can interpolate between two padding values. So I hope you have a much better understanding of padding widget and you can apply padding in other ways also rather than just using the common constructor of edge insets all. And if you find this video useful, please make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button for more in-depth Flutter widget videos in Flutter widget essential series on Retro Portal Studio. See you next time. Peace.